What's new in Annex 8.5? Some enhancements in modeling. Part modules. You can now divide a complex model into logical groups. Emboss body command. Use this command to emboss a body, or sheet, onto another body, or sheet. Unite and region selection. When uniting two bodies, you can select the region to keep and the region to delete. You can now create extruded and revolved features using open profiles. Pattern feature enhancements. You can change the pattern method while editing a pattern feature, variational to simple or vice versa. You can add additional features to a pattern. You can clock an instance directly from the part navigator. Mirror feature enhancements. You can now mirror, curve features, datum features, and pattern features. Draft enhancements. You can create draft from a non-planar surface. Draft on multiple face. Draft both sides of a parting surface. Draft one side of the parting surface. Delete body command. You can use the delete body command to delete one or more bodies. The assign feature color command. Now, you can assign colors to features. The assign feature group color command. You can now add a color to the feature group and any new features that are added to that group. You can now add the color to the feature group its members. The helix command enhancements. You can now use different law types to define the pitch and size of an helix. Constant, linear, cubic, linear along spine, cubic along spine, by equation, by law curve. Coming soon. Annex 8.5 Tutorial Book. Scope of this book. This book is written for students and engineers who are interested to learn Annex 8.5 for designing mechanical components and assemblies. And then create drawings. This book provides a step-by-step -step approach for learning Annex 8.5. The topics include getting started with Annex 8.5, basic part modeling, creating assemblies, creating drawings additional modeling tools, and sheet metal modeling. Chapter 1 gives an introduction to NX 8.5, the user interface, terminology, mouse functions, and shortcut keys are discussed in this chapter. Chapter 2 takes you through the creation of your first NX model. You create simple parts. Chapter 3 teaches you to create assemblies. It explains the top-down and bottom-up approaches for designing an assembly. You create an assembly using the bottom-up approach. Chapter 4 teaches you to create drawings of the models created in the earlier chapters. You will also learn to create exploded views. And part list of an assembly. Chapter 5. In this chapter, you will learn additional modeling tools to create complex models. Chapter 6 introduces you to NX Sheet Metal Design. You will create a sheet metal part using the tools available in the NX sheet metal environment. Chapter 7 explains some important enhancements in NX 8.5.